हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स गाइस दिस नितिन हियर तो बच्चों आज कुछ बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स हैं गॉस थ्योरम से और थोड़े अलग टाइप के हैं बट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एप्लीकेशंस तो पहला ये है एक प्रॉब्लम एंड देन आई हैव मॉडिफाइड दिस टू टू मोर केसेस इनटू दिस प्रॉब्लम ठीक है तो जस्ट देखते हैं क्या दिया हुआ है ए चार्ज क्यू नॉट इज प्रेजेंट एट ए पॉइंट जीरो ए बाय रूट टू जीरो find the flux through plane s due to q not now this is given as plane s you can see it is equally inclined uh, because the distance is, is uh, you can see the coordinates here a 0 0 0 0 0 a so basically this length is uh, root 2a this length is root 2a this length is root 2a this is a this is a this is a and this charge is placed at a distance of a by root 2 so this distance is also given and they are asking flux passing through this uh, plane all right so ab is question ko agar hum directly solve karne jayenge to it is uh, very tough when i give this question uh, many people got right answer but at the same time many people have made mistake in uh, in, in this problem so let's see the approach for uh, this so as you can see here what i am doing is this is the original uh, plane which was given to us now i am just uh, trying to imagine this in uh, 3d so the similar plane i can have this is another similar plane basically i am uh, you know going to this point is minus a 0 0 all right and this is uh, 0 0 minus a so easily you can understand here this is another identical plane this is another identical plane and this yellow dotted line this is another identical plane so you will have four identical plane it will become basically a pyramid with square base it is a pyramid with square base so i am rearranging and uh, making the same diagram here so this is the square base which is here all those distances are root 2a so by symmetry i can say there are uh, four such uh, faces through which flux is going to be pi 1 and there will be some flux with this base as well so definitely this charge is somewhere here in the middle of uh, this from the base a by root 2 distance so i can write this as uh, 4 pi 1 plus 4 pi 2 is equal to uh, q in by epsilon not we know the value of q inside which is q not but here interesting part is if somehow i can calculate flux passing through this due to this charge then i'll get my answer so luckily those uh, distances are also very nicely arranged so you can see this base it is of side length root 2a so here this distance is a by root 2 so standard result of q we can uh, directly take and this will become q by 6 epsilon not everyone knows this question so after this we know the value of pi 2 substitute this value here and uh, simplify we are going to get this 4 5 and as uh, pi q not by 6 epsilon not so on solving this comes as uh, pi q not by 24 epsilon not this is going to be the answer for this problem so this is very smart uh, problem in my opinion whoever has framed it it was very good, very very nice problem and such problems can uh, surely come in uh, exam as well after this i have slightly modified this i am bringing question everything is same but i am bringing this here so uh, now i think easily you can understand uh, the same square we can draw square base we can draw but this time this charge will be at the center of this square base everything will be same as previous problem but now it is going to be at this particular point i hope this part is clear to all of you so can i say here that uh, due to this charge this plane is passing through the equator of that charge if i am assuming it as point charge so uh, flux through this is zero so phi 2 is going to be zero and within this pyramid only half of the charge will be inside so q in will become q not by 2 so if i simplify i am going to get this phi 1 as q by 
8 epsilon naught. This is going to be the answer for this problem. So basically, once you figure out this is a pyramid, and uh, the question in this question, they are playing around symmetry of the pyramid that we have to use. Then I'm going to modify this uh, further. Same problem, but this time I am going to give you an electric field vector E alpha times x i plus z k cap plus x square plus z square. Now it's a variable field. But if you remember in the past, I have done many questions like this on this channel and those who are part of regular classes, I'm pretty sure that immediately the first thing which is going to come in your mind is a wire. All right, I'll discuss how. So I'm rearranging this uh, electric field. Now this is going to be R cap kind of function in XZ plane. And this is one by R. So my electric field uh, expression in polar form will become alpha by R times R cap. Then I can uh, substitute that if it is uh, resembling a wire, which is along Y axis, then this is going to be lambda by two pi epsilon naught. So if I simplify this, I'm going to get that lambda of that uh, hypothetical wire as two pi epsilon naught alpha. Now let's place that uh, wire inside this uh, pyramid so you can see this wire is like this it is along y-axis by the way it is along y-axis now here again i can say that uh, field due to this is radial so phi 2 is again going to be zero in this situation phi 2 zero ho gaya. Ab iske baad i can say phi 1 is q in by 4 epsilon naught then Q inside. Now let's say length of the wire inside is L, but we don't know this L. It is not given to us in the problem. So I'll be writing it as phi1 is equal to lambda L by 4 epsilon. So first thing we have calculated this lambda, 2 pi epsilon naught alpha. After this, we have to calculate uh, this L value, the length of wire inside the pyramid in this situation. So it's a very easy. This distance is root 2a. This distance also uh, to 2a, half of that is a. So it's a right angle triangle you are seeing here. And in the right angle triangle, this L square is this square minus this square. So L is also coming as a only. Let's substitute the value of lambda 2 pi epsilon naught alpha times a. And this is by 4 epsilon naught. Simplify this. You are going to get this as phi 1 is equal to pi alpha by 2. This is going to be the final answer on this problem. So these are the three questions which I gave to my students in champs batch and I feel they are very nice set of problems and uh, you must uh, at least see them once or you must have uh, you know like many people could solve it very quickly because they had exposure of such problem but somebody who is trying it for the first time and if you haven't done that then it becomes slightly tricky and challenging. Okay so uh, that's it in this video. I hope you have enjoyed these problems. I'll uh, keep bringing more such problems till your ad advanced exam. Okay. So fine here. All the very best for next round. Thank you.